Only the exalted and knowing may enter this sacred ground. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. How long are you going to maintain this charade of rebellion? Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. And you say this to my face? You know I am honest. And time was, we were on the same side. I have allowed you to continue for too long. But no more, Runeratu. Or what? I could end your treason right now. <laughs> Give me one reason I shouldn't kill you on the spot. Just one? <sighs> Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home! Unarutu, dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny, together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Baititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi 
will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukulkan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Take her back to her cell. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one, in fact presiding over the fifth age after the four previous sons had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields, or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Cayuaca Park, he whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for NT to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams or fields or brickyards. Cayuaca Park made a deal with the strange men, he gave his life so that we may live ours, free 
but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one, something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. Kuku Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kugul Khan. <laughs> In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Pytitians when possible. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan. That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward. The first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly 
their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. Wife of Enti, daughter of Viracocha and mother of the founders of the Incan Empire. Likely another artifact extorted from the people of Paititi by the cult. Jonah, I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay, we're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah, when I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon. We have to hurry. Yeah, when we get Unuratu out, we'll all go find the box together. Sorry, no one may enter. Mm -hmm. 
Cast you, Bitch. Master Wally. Una Fushul Salute. 